Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your Oracle messages. You also have a visitor here, my big old cat named Zeus, okay? So yes, he is here. Some of you, maybe he's here because, you know, it's time to just kind of soothe the mind and the soul right now. Let's find out what you guys need to know right now here. Explore new ventures. So be willing to take a risk for some of you guys or to just go for something. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. Yes, your loved ones on the other side, your angels, your guides, they really want you to explore some type of new venture. Okay, so maybe do things differently. Um, you know, make choices and decisions with confidence. Um, we don't have room and time and the energy to give into doubt right now, okay? So maybe there's something here with um, a boat or something at a distance here for some of you guys, okay? There could be something with boat trips, fishing possibly, but, you know, we're just looking at this, at this whole energy of adventure. Let's see what else you guys need to know right now about your situation. <clears throat> Also, uh, Taurus, this is a general reading, so if you find the messages uh, don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. Let's see what else you need to know about your situation right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. You guys have been sending out your prayers. You've been doing something here, talking to your angels, talking to heaven here. Have faith because your prayers have been heard and they are being answered right now. So have some positive expectation about some type of miracle. A sincere wish is being granted here, okay? So some of you, I'm seeing this real, this new thing about <clears throat> new life, new energy, a new phase to walk into, maybe more time and energy to do more fun things in your life. Maybe some of you guys, you're really uh, manifesting travel dreams or exploring, um, you know, new experiences, new horizons. <clears throat> Let's see what else you guys need to know about your situation. I'm sensing something is really completing for a lot of you uh, Tauruses. So <clears throat> what's interesting was I was seeing the word uh, finish or finish up. <clears throat> so I feel that there's some type of um, energy right now, maybe an upswing in energy or possibly you're just own your own will, your will and your motivation to get things done and seeing things through completion is really helping a situation. Okay. So continue to do things and have things done. Um, don't leave anything undone if you can get it done, okay? Okay, we got four of swords here. So some of you, there's a time to get out, get moving, okay? We may be sleeping too much for some of you Tauruses, not all of you, but some. There may be some emphasis here on maybe uh, too much rest and <laughs> recuperation or, you know, make sure you are taking the time to heal when you need to, but... Um, you know, with this thing about exploring new ventures, yeah, move forward with confidence, okay? Let's get a little bit more uh, with this Four of Swords. I do feel a lot of you guys had dealt with great disappointment here. Um, and maybe you're just needing some space. Some of you guys might have created too, you know, not too much space, but maybe you've created space, uh, space right now. And maybe you're getting really comfortable and Spirit wants you to... Um, you know, to, to rise up and, and to, and to take on opportunities and to do something different. Let's get a little bit more with this four of swords. We got, um, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra energy coming through. Yeah, I really get these strong guardians are really protecting you too here. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is funny. If you notice this, okay, this person's laying down, right? And it's like, stand up, but I'm seeing, get up, get up. Okay. You know what's right. Okay. So stand up for what you know is right. We're supporting you. Oh my goodness. So I'm just seeing this thing about, you know, uh, Taurus, it's time to take action. It's time to just get things moving, get things done here, whatever you guys are feeling. Okay. Now, some of you Taurus, in order to gain that confidence, that energy, and maybe clarity, 
you do need to know when to take some time out to heal, to contemplate, meditate, right? Um, but uh, you need to have that balance too. So I do sense a lot of you guys have, have had some type of victory or you're coming to like an ending of really completing and healing some type of great disappointment or heartbreak in the past, okay? So I'm seeing some victory in that. So now it's like, go for what you want, okay? Because you're really actually a lot stronger than you realize. <laughs> Let's see, what else for Taurus? <clears throat> oh my goodness. There's something going on here with um, the past, past memories, maybe past life with some of you guys. Hmm, something is coming together here. We've got this, I'm um, expecting a miracle. So let's get a little bit more with this Six of Cups. I do sense some of you guys have had some, you know, heartache or hardship here in the past with someone. <clears throat> a soulmate. There could be something strong here with you guys connecting to earlier childhood friends for some of you Tauruses out there. Let's get a little bit more about the Six of Cups. We got Cancer, Pisces, um, and Scorpio energy coming through here. Because some of you guys, you might be, you know, we might be really hung up here in the past and we're not doing anything. It, it might be causing you guys not to want to explore new ventures or uh, it could be holding you back a little bit here. <clears throat> so believe in yourself and your b abilities. We believe in you. So... Uh, yeah, the, it is time to let go. <laughs> okay. And that's a good thing. It really is. It's like spirit is saying, really have confidence in yourself in the new phase in your life that's happening. Cause a lot of you guys are at this new phase. And, um, with the six of cups, we got these cards here, you know, spirit wants you guys to have confidence in your abilities for your decisions, your choices as well. And something that you guys are destined or born to do here as well with your abilities, but also hold us in your heart not in your home it's okay to declutter and we've got the six of cups this is a, a an energy where we are hanging on to the past maybe past memories old things okay maybe even old photographs i mean you know you know just have confidence that it's okay to declutter when you know the time is right okay and there are signs that are showing you guys something about your future here as well what else for Taurus? <clears throat> hmm, what's going on with this? <clears throat> Balance. Okay, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So letting go of the past, letting go of things that maybe some of you, we could be holding on to, you know, judging ourselves or others. Maybe something was really hard to overcome, right? And we've had to take a lot of time and energy to really um, take time to heal, to figure things out. But a lot of you guys really are doing things right now that is helping bring balance into your life here. Okay, so balance and harmony is happening. Just maintain balance within yourself and what's happening in your world and your internal world here. And don't judge anything. I feel for some of you, don't judge what's happened here in the past too. You know, all of us are allowed to make mistakes. Um, you know, so some it's, you know, whether it's judging yourself or others or feeling like a failure or feeling rejected, or maybe you rejected someone else and you feel bad for that, whatever it is, let it go. Okay. This is a time to come into just being that balance right now, not seeking it, not searching it, but being in it right now. I guess Zeus wanted to get comfortable. <laughs> he's he's laying on he's laying on a nice old mattress right now for himself. Okay, let's see what else for Taurus. I was speaking about like a mattress. So some of you guys, <laughs> there may be something here too with maybe you guys um, getting something uh, that's a lot more comfortable. And yeah, maybe some of you guys, you're feeling like you wanna sleep more, just rest more, but you know, rest, uh, but have balance, okay? So, you know, not too much, not too little, okay? With all things right now, 
and we do have something about a friendship here so some of you guys maybe been praying for a friendship right a soul family a soul a soulmate friendship or lover okay so you know cherish what cherish what we have right um, but also be willing to know and understand and to really honor that friends are in your life for a reason okay and they're also there for a season or a lifetime but when they are there it's a gift so cherish it because I'm seeing a lot of you guys making room for some new memories here. What else? <clears throat> yeah, there may be something extended. Something is definitely extending out here. So we're reaching out. We're extending out here. So I feel a lot of you guys... Um, <clears throat> You may not feel like this, but there is, there is, you're extending, you're growing, you're evolving. Oh man, I feel like some of you, Taurus, actually may resonate with Pisces reading in this series, possibly. You may have Pisces placements um, in your chart somewhere, <clears throat> okay? Four of Wands, yeah, more about really coming into a sense of completion, harmony, partnership, friendship, feeling at home with someone for some of you guys. You could be celebrating something quite significant in your life too uh, with this Four of Wands. Um, so yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, I was just getting this thing about you guys really feeling successful about healing a situation here. Okay, having forgiveness, healing, um, reconciling the past, and coming into a sense of commitment, a milestone in one's life a new partnership for some of you guys, or taking some type of partnership to the next level here, feeling very secure and grounded. Some of you guys, I feel that you have been working, some of you, Taurus, you've been working really hard too, so I do see something about home, home life, coming into a place of um, being comfortable and enjoying, um, you know, more comforts of life or a more comfortable life. What else for Taurus? Whoa, 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 purpose. Wow, Taurus, something is going on here. We got a lot of strong energies happening here. I know what I'm here to do. <laughs> My goodness, Taurus. Yeah, you're reaching up, you're extending. Yes, see, you guys are. You're meant to, to really, some of you guys, you're growing rapidly even though it feels slow, <laughs> okay? That's all I have to say about that because that it, it's just that's this energy that I'm getting. You are growing rapidly, yet it seems slow. Let's get a little bit more of what whatever wants to come out because these energies are strong about your purpose right now. <clears throat> You're getting exactly what you guys need too. And something and someone may be at a distance here and it's only a matter of time, okay? You know what you're here to do. So be willing to go through changes, be willing, you know, to make some type of movement here. Remember, this is about movement. Hmm. You know what, Taurus? Oh my goodness, I don't wanna overflow you guys with too much. Uh, who was it? Who was it before cancer? Maybe you guys have cancer placements in your chart too. Anyhow. Don't worry about it, Taurus. Just know that you guys are purposely moving here. Things are coming together. Be willing to receive what you guys need and expect good things in your life. Something is just really nearing here, okay? Uh, so you know what you are here to do, right? Something, something is calling you guys forward and to really persevere in a situation. What else for Taurus? See, this is why believe in yourself and your abilities. We believe in you. And look, your purpose, it's calling you. You guys know what you're here to do. Some of you, Taurus, there could be some past energies too that... You know, use your own discernment, and it is a different situation for everybody, but there may be something here where we could have had some hardships or hard heartbreak over friendships or people, really, because um, you guys are really doing something very purposeful, and you're just, you're, you know, you're really 
moving on from those energies, okay? But you also are harmonizing other energies towards you. So never feel alone, okay? And don't be afraid of change. Let's see. Oh my God, I was just saying, don't be afraid of change. And look what card came out. Change is unavoidable. Yes, we know that spirit. So whether it's even pos you know, positive change, negative change, doesn't matter. We can label it whatever we want. It's unavoidable and it's always gonna be feeling a little bit uncomfortable, okay? It's always gonna push you to um, you know, understand your own limits, understand your own str strengths though. You know what, Taurus, I'm seeing something really ancient going on with you and something very strong and wise. Some of you, Taurus, you might be feeling inspired to, or maybe some of you guys are already doing this, something with your physical fitness, strength training or something, or you might be inspired to take on some type of, um, you know, new health routine to make you guys feel uh, strong physically here because that's also helping your spirit. Okay, because I'm just seeing something about, you know, look at this um, being here. We've got this tree being, so look at the roots there. I mean, come on. So you guys really are changing and evolving. So that's just something that's natural. So allow it to happen. And also there may have been something here that a lot of you guys um, may have realized or it's going to happen wherever there's been some type of illusion or untruths. There's going to be some type of enlightenment about that exposure about that as well. Okay. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Oh my goodness, I told you, it is. Oh my goodness, look. Something is coming to light. Something is coming. And some of you, you really are seeing the truth about a situation. You're seeing something accurately. Now, some of you just have patience, okay? You don't need to see or know everything right now. It is coming into focus. Just trust yourself more than others right now, okay? Because some of you guys... You know, it's don't be influenced in negative ways or uh, going, you know, especially if you feel like the energies are pulling you backwards when you feel like your soul is going forwards. OK, so some of you guys be willing to see the truth about uh, people and situations, too. Right. Um, because I see someone who is meditating or taking time to focus here to see the truth. Don't be afraid to move on here too, to better and bigger things. What else? Some of you don't be afraid to move on to newer friendships or different friendships. <clears throat> Problems that have held you back are being cleared. We're monitoring it. So whatever you guys feel is a block or holding you guys back. We even have our arms crossed here. So we do feel Ooh, some of you guys are just, you might be holding back your heart too um, for some of you guys. So there may be some hesitation. So just be aware of that, but give yourself, honor your, you know, honor the time that you guys need, but spirit, your guardians, your angels, they are, look at this, they're monitoring it. Okay, problems that have held you back are being cleared. We're monitoring it. I want you guys to notice the wolves they're monitoring you. They're monitoring it. This is a healing card here. So visions, clarity, uh, knowing what's right for you. Okay. Something is being cleared. And when you guys are feeling very calm, this is when you guys start to really get clear about a situation or you gain clarity, more clarity. Things become um, you know, they come into focus for you. Just look, look here for something. You guys need to look for signs here. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like there's something that is pointing the sign there. You guys are, you guys are noticing these signs. You're, something is pointing a direction to you. What else? You know what I just noticed? I just realized, look at that boat trips and then we even have a boat here. Oh my gosh, maybe some of you guys are gonna go on a boat or a cruise or something, okay? Uh, but yeah, expect something or someone uh, entering your life here. Okay, let's see. Garden, oh my gosh. Yes, more about friendship. You know, oh my goodness, Spirit, this is so, okay, Spirit is really, really communicating so clear in this reading with you, Taurus. Um, 
I'm noted. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So there is something about um, getting into the right gatherings here. So a lot of you guys, there, there's something strong happening here when it comes to like a soul family, soul tribe, soul mates, um, feeling really like you belong here. Uh, some of you say yes to some um, gatherings, uh, social invitations. This is a time you guys want to do these new things, okay? Be willing to explore new ventures. You never know where you guys are going to end up. It's going to feel very good and comfortable for you. we got this garden card, okay? I want to show you what I want to show you guys this. I mean, it is kind of a garden, but it is kind of, well, they are at the beach, aren't they? But at first it looked, you know, to me, it looked like a garden, like they're in playing in the garden, but they are playing in the beach here. So <clears throat> some of you be willing to get outside more if you can spend some time in, in gardens, um, forests, whatever, uh, beaches, you know, whatever feels good and right to you. You never know who and what you guys will end up meeting here because it will feel destined okay it'll feel like family it feel like you guys have known each other for a long time yeah i feel that there's some type of reunion on the horizon too that is um uh, very good for a lot of you guys okay so i do sense some type of reunion here mm -hmm. but also say yes to new things too what else <clears throat> Tune into the rhythm of nature and let us connect there. Oh my gosh, garden. You guys, we've got flowers here. So Taurus, you know, you're, you've got that earth energy here. So some of you guys start paying attention to the beautiful things in your life. Go out, look at nature, look at flowers, grow flowers, plants. I don't know, whatever it is, be out in nature. This is where you guys are going to feel the most freedom. You're going to feel very playful and you'll also feel energized. Right now it's about feeling like some sense of like being revitalized, okay? And yeah, you guys are receiving messages, um, you know, tune into nature. They're speaking to you, connect there. What else? Yeah, talk, see, see, told you, look at this, talk to us, we're still listening. <laughs> oh my goodness. And look at the owl here, look, see the truth? Okay, yes, you've been shown signs and omens, you've been shown something here. Some some of you guys, you didn't like what you have been were showing or what you're getting about something and someone, but, you know, see the truth in it, right? And just tune in. They're listening to you. They've always been listening to you. Your loved ones, ancient ones, God, Jesus, the angels, okay? Keep talking, Taurus, keep talking because they're listening. Remember, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered, okay? So keep talking. What else? Try not to worry. We're bringing helpful people into your life, okay? Four of wands, open, you're opening up to new partnerships. Ooh, 1111 right there too. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So yes, like a portal is open up, opening up for you guys. Look at this. Try not to worry. We'll bring helpful people into your life. And, oh, we rejoice when you find love. Love comes in unexpected ways. What did I tell you guys? Go out, go play, get playful. Just enjoy life. Enjoy what you can. Okay. Unexpected, uh, things are going to happen in unexpected ways. And it's almost like it's been a setup here <laughs> because it's, listen to this, we rejoice when you find love. It's like a, the, your guides, your angels have been setting this up. They're setting you up on a blind date and you guys don't even know <laughs> for some of you guys. Okay. Some kind of blind date to something, to someone, to some type of partnership, commitment. Mm, good. Really good. And look, this looks exactly like Zeus's paw actually. And he... He was up here. <laughs> what else? Focus on the positives. You know there are many. So take your focus off of what we don't want or don't like, right? I know it's easier said than done, Taurus, but try to focus on the positive. It's all about balance right now. Look forward to the future here. There's a lot of things that are going on in your life right now that are really positive. 
So, you know, they're just reminding you that there's a lot of things that you can be really focused on to magnify this because that's all you're doing. <laughs> and actually, when you do this, it's really helping you guys be at ease and release anything in the past or neg negative energies or just feeling like a sense of repl being replenished here. Okay. Some of you, it's like, some, you know, maybe do a walking meditation here. What else? <clears throat> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah they're you're whew, you got your guardians aren't giving up okay well, what did i say earlier they're like setting you guys up on a on a blind date or they're setting you up on this like a situation to find love or happiness in unexpected ways they're assisting you guys in helping important people okay not just ordinary or unimportant people but important people in your life so use love release harsh judgments about yourself or others right now just let it go just let it go for your own sake okay so for your own dreams to come to fruition who cares about the past anymore you're coming in into something very beautiful that's really compatible with you okay um yeah a lot of you guys have been working hard too haven't you taurus so make sure that you guys are rising up take balance you know understand balance with your own um efforts and your work too and, and try to be a little bit more playful if you can what else let go of it i know i know taurus some of you guys are just feeling it right guilt whatever it is guilt shame regret i don't know all of it right release any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth this is what's really important for you guys to really focus on really all of these things have really catapulted you into realizing what your purpose is and what you're really here to do so it's nothing was wasted the only thing that we're wasting is the time and energy we put into feeling bad or guilty okay it serves no purpose and it only serves one purpose to stagnate a soul okay so allowing yourself and honoring yourself and, and releasing it and forgiving oneself really it's helping you guys um, come into a situation where it's just very easy to be in the state of love and compassion and see the light and love with others okay so yeah spirit is saying you guys do not have to hold on to guilt release any beliefs right now that do not serve your soul's growth and honor that about yourself and respect that about yourself you deserve that what else for taurus seek professional help if you need to all will be well don't try to do everything on yourself some of you guys may be health healing whatever you guys need to to get healthy or to get help be willing to seek professional help find it utilize it pay for it whatever you can okay this is a time that you guys some of you some of you taurus are coming into a new phase where you do need to accept help from others because i see a lot of you taurus is playing a different role maybe you've been the one that's always been doing things and having to take control and maybe now it's time for you to let go um, and come to a place so that you guys are utilizing your energy for the better, okay? Um, you know, th these things, uh, seek professional help can mean in all different aspects, right? Health, healing, uh, you know, for some of you guys, if you've been working a lot, you know, uh, get help with, you know, legal stuff, uh, finance stuff, whatever you guys feel, um, you know, pulled to do, don't be afraid to go out there and do something different, okay? And ask for it. Uh, what else? And also be open because, um, what was that message? They're sending you guys people here. Try not to worry. We will bring helpful people, helpful people into your life. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. So I'm just going to say, yes, you guys will resonate with cancer's reading. 
pretty sure you guys will uh, be without malice. Yeah. Letting go of judgment. I feel for some of you right now, it's just, you know, you're, you know that you're going through these changes and there could be the past or people right now that could be irritating or frustrating you, or there could be a situation that we're still like really not, um, you know, feeling resolved about in the past. So yeah, you guys have been hurt and betrayed here, right? You've been really hurt and Spirit is saying, we'll take care of it. You just keep moving forward here, okay? This is about you guys uh, taking the high road and becoming quite successful and realizing what you deserve, okay? Uh, just be without malice, you know, focus on the positive because you know there are many. What else? And this is signifying that you guys are changing and outgrowing situations. And so it can be very triggering and challenging. So you may need to resist, um, you know, reacting right now. Just respond calmly or don't respond at all until you know what to do. Go out and plant new life seeds and sow for your future. Mm -hmm. Here it is. New life seeds, wishes coming true. Don't be afraid, okay? And remember, I was saying for a lot of you guys, you're, you're, you know, playing a different role. You're starting this phase of playing a different role here. So honor that. Take on these little changes. Don't try to do everything yourself. And also, here we go. Change is unavoidable. I mean, you see the, the, the skull there. We've had some type of ending here. So it's time to plant these new life seeds and watch them grow abundantly. What else for Taurus? Oh, you too, huh? <laughs> so I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah, we definitely feel some type of blockage. We do feel maybe for some of you guys unable to make a decision. I mean, we are, some of you guys are really at this four of swords about someone here or something about the past, whatever it is. Use your intuition in all aspects of your life. And here we got to see the truth. We got the owl energy, like got that high priestess energy coming through here, right? And I just see like the third eye actually right there. But anyhow, gratitude. So some of you guys, if something is feeling like a block right now, just focus on the good things that are going on in your life and allow that to take hold first. Then we'll start to get some type of clarity or for some of you guys, um, you'll be able to make a decision confidently here. Okay. Especially if you're feeling like there's a decision that needs to be made, but take your time. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, take your time and look at, take, take the time to pamper yourself or let others take care of you. See, get some professional help. Some of you guys go get, don't be afraid. Okay. If you have the money, go pay professionals to do it. If you can save yourself some time and energy, pamper yourself, take care of yourself. I'm seeing a lot of you guys, your past efforts are coming to fruition. And some of you, you've, already, you've harvested some type of success here. So enjoy it. And yes, I'm just going to say this. A lot of you, uh, Tauruses, you're really, you're really getting blessed when it comes to some type of divine partnership, love life. Okay. Connection. What else for Taurus? Okay, someone needs your support. Can you help them? We will guide you. So Taurus, we're taking our focus off of, you know, being without malice, right? And focusing on the positive because there are many. So some of you, maybe it's just, you know, focusing on service, um, being there for others if you can. Um, I do feel a lot of you Tauruses are being shown the way to someone here um, and they're helping you and guiding you to this person here, okay? They want to know if you can help them um, and taking this time to be creative and look for ways to build, to grow and manifest. So there's, didn't we have, yeah, I was getting this thing about you guys extending, growing here, okay? And that's exactly what's happening here is you guys really are growing. So where there was a nest that was too small, there's a bigger nest being rebuilt here for you, okay? 
And you guys are being guided towards this. This is what I'm getting. Look at this. The winds or something is happening here. You guys are getting blown to the right situation. Okay. And the place where for a lot of you, Taurus, um, for some of you guys, this is just, this could be leading you not just to someone here, but this could be leading you guys to a place of um, feeling like you guys have the enough time, energy, gifts to be of support for others, okay? And Spirit is showing you guys how to be of service to others in the best, most productive and creative ways, okay? With like less effort, but you know, but in good, uh, good amounts <laughs> or quality. What else for Taurus? You're ready for change of scenery. Look at this. And this is exactly what came out in the beginning. Explore and look, explore. So be willing, Taurus. Look, be willing. Get up, get out, go do something. <laughs> You're ready for this change. You're ready for new scenery. Yes, you are. You're being shown the way. Okay. So yes, you are being shown the way. What else? Okay, look at this, three of wands. What you guys need is coming and the people that you need are coming. So I feel a lot of you guys are gonna get ready to have some fun times with others, a time to rejoice. Um, big, big thing about friendship here. So spirit is saying have a positive outlook and out, you know expectation here of the right people, the right energies and something to celebrate too. So I feel a lot of you Tauruses are doing something that you know others really do appreciate um, or it's coming to that point here because there is something about you guys having some type of deserved respect or honor here. You really have reached some type of significant milestone that isn't going unnoticed, at least on the spiritual side it's not, because I can see it. So expect some fun times, open yourself up for healing, support, friendships, or just saying yes to social gatherings right now, okay? Get out, <laughs> because it's like, really, Spirit is saying, your messages, your prayers have been answered, okay? Trust that they're being received, and just go out and have fun. Go do things, okay? The order has been placed to the universe, now you just need to go out and have fun. What else? Some of you guys, you've been want, you've been wishing for something new and it's just taking that step towards it, okay? And receiving knowledge here. So a lot of you Tauruses are receiving exactly what you need. Um, I'm getting this, okay, yeah, there is something about you guys really completing some type of book or chapter in your life, okay? Um, some of you Taurus, maybe for some, um, spend some time entertaining your mind with things that are taking you out of the past or something that could make you guys feel hung up, right? Because there is something about focusing on positives. So maybe entertain yourself with a good book, good movie, whatever, okay? But yes, there's this thing about you guys um, revealing some type of new book, new chapter, and also receiving some type of um, knowledge here that is going to help you. So I feel for some of you, Taurus, be willing to dive into some um, knowledge that will help you guys really stay strong in your spirit right now, okay? And be open to receiving some, some you know, what you guys need here, because I keep getting this thing about you guys receiving exactly what you need as, you guys, as you're moving along with your path. So books, information, okay, knowledge. What else for Taurus? Find a way to bring harmony back into your life and take that first step. See that card of balance here? So here's this action, right? We need to take a little action, one little step. So here we go. Just take one little step that brings harmony back into your life. Okay, one step. And you will be shown, you, you just will keep being shown the way here. Okay, how does that fit there? Let's see, what else for Taurus? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping you, Taurus.
I feel some of you Tauruses, um, you're afraid of losing people or losing friends or something here for some of you guys. So Spirit is um, telling you that everything is okay. Okay. It's going to be okay. We care about you. Spirit's helping you guys pamper yourself more, taking better care of yourself more, focusing on yourself more, taking your focus off of um, the distractions. Okay. We care about you and we want you to take care of yourself. Yeah, your angels, God, Jesus, universe, really, they want you to listen to what your body is telling you. If you guys need to sleep, sleep. But if you, you know, if you need to move your body, move your body, right? Uh, be willing to uh, just take it easy as well, okay? Right, it's all about balance here. Taking that first step, remember that card that we got? Find, you know, a way to bring harmony back into your life. Take that first step. And that's doing this. So Spirit's also helping you guys focus on your mind on what you really want. Look at this. We even have that Four of Swords of how Spirit's helping you guys focusing your mind on what you really truly want. We're helping, okay? So yeah, maybe some of you, you don't have to figure it all out. But it, you know, little by little, Spirit is helping you guys focus on the right things and on what you really want. And what you truly deserve too, Taurus. Okay, I feel like just getting just one more for you, Taurus. Oh my goodness, why am I getting something about Judgment Card too? Yeah, you guys are having a second chance. It's like a second chance at life. You know that, Taurus? You're getting a second chance. It, it will feel, that's what it's going to feel like for you. A second chance, second opportunity. Because you didn't give up. And you're sure as hell not giving up now because you guys already heard something strong already. There's something that you guys are, you just can't ignore. And it's your higher purpose. It's a purpose that's calling you. How else is spirit helping uh, Taurus? Taking control of the situation. <laughs> yep, because we know you can do it. Spirit's helping you guys taking control, maybe create some healthy boundaries as well. And moving forward and having confidence, really guiding your own ship here. Yeah, Spirit's helping you guys take control of your own life right now and getting fulfillment and feeling good about it. Okay, so I hope that was helpful, Taurus. Love and light. Take care.